Good day, Masindok Sambales. Good day to our beloved learners from grade 10. Welcome to Masinlok School on the Air, Sir Bishang Kutog, DWSP 11.5 News FM. This is your on-air teacher, Teacher Luz Contillas, always at the service for Filipino learners. At this moment, please get your self-learning module prepared by the development team of the module headed by Ms. Luz Minda F. Agustin from Department of Education, Region 1. Distributed by your respective school for our topic today, processes and landforms along plate boundaries. You can also get your notebook and ball pen to take down notes about the lesson that I am going to discuss. You have previously learned that convection current in the Earth's mantle caused the crust to break into smaller segments. Spaces in between or plate boundaries are created. These plate boundaries named according to the relative movement of the plates with each other. Do you still remember these three types of plate boundaries? The convergent boundary, the divergent boundary, and transform fault boundary. Your learning material discuss the different processes that take place on different plate boundaries. The landforms also mentioned since they are formed at the same time as processes or events happen. In this lesson, we will identify the geological processes how and why they take place in the different types of convergent plate boundaries which happen between two oceanic plates, oceanic to continental plates, and two continental plates. We will also discuss the different processes taking place at a divergent plate boundary, where and why they take place and their effects. And for the transform fault boundary, which also known as strike-slip boundary, we will discuss with the famous San Andreas Fault as the main example. At the end of the lesson, and after going through the activities, you are expected to explain the different processes that occur along the plate boundaries and name the landforms produced in each type of plate boundary. When an oceanic crust converges with a continental crust, a crack between the crust and underwater cold trench is formed. Since the oceanic crust has a greater mass due to the presence of water on it, so its density also is greater. This causes it to dive down or subduct under the overriding plate which is the continental plate. What do we mean by subduction? Subduction is the process by which a plate dives under a less dense plate. At the mantle, the leading edge of the subducting plate melts or becomes fluid. It turns into hot molten material which we call magma. Due to the heat in the mantle, the magma builds up a pressure that enables it to push the ground above it. The rising magma is called a mantle plume. When there is a volcanic activity such as an eruption, the ground moves and so an earthquake is felt. Because subduction continues, a group of volcanoes called volcanic arc is formed at the surface of the continental crust along the boundary where the two crusts converge. And for the convergence of two oceanic crusts, it results in some similar events compared to the first types of convergence. Earthquakes may happen. Tsunamis may be formed. It is a Japanese term for harbor wave. The water may flip or kick upward to a few meters high. 
There is also subtraction because one plate is denser than the other, which is the old plate. The front part of the subducting plate becomes magma upon reaching the mantle. Then it builds up pressure due to heat, pushes the crust above it, forming a volcano. This is a continuous process. Since the plates are moving, the volcano will move with the plate. It becomes extinct when it is no longer above the magma deposit in the mantle. A new volcano will then be formed. This series of volcanoes is called Volcanic Island Arc since it is surrounded by water. This explains why the Philippines is mostly loaded with volcanoes. The different islands were believed to have originated from the convergence of two oceanic crusts. Let's move on. Converging a continental crust or plates result in a collision zone, which could cause shallow earthquakes. At that place, fault or crack is formed. This type of convergence will cause no subduction since two plates have the same densities. There would be no volcanoes formed, no tsunamis. It will only result in a group of high landforms that we call mountain ranges. In the processes along divergent boundary, mostly happen under the oceans. As plates pull away from each other, a vertical space that may extend deep down into the lowest layer of the crust is created. It is a rift valley. The force of separation creates a tension zone. Shallow earthquake may happen with this plate movement. It is believed to a slow, continuous process. As the plates move away, the gap between them increases. While this happens, materials from the mantle may rise, filling up space. These materials pile up near the tension zone, forming a mountain-like structure called oceanic ridges. The filled-up space between plates become a new seafloor. The process is known as seafloor spreading. The next type of plate boundary is what everyone fears about these days. It is the transform fault boundary. With this type of boundary, another geologic feature is formed and events happen. This third type of plate boundary is mostly found in oceans but there are few that transverse through continental crust. This is characterized by plate moving horizontally against each other, producing crack called fault on the ground. The force the plates exert can break the rocks and other materials under the ground. The shaking usually ends abruptly. This is why it brings about strong earthquakes. The fault could swallow humans, cars, and buildings. Murky odorous water from under the ground may spring up from the fault. Most faults do not totally close when shaking ceases since the adjoining edges have already moved further from each other. Alright, you can now identify the geological processes taking place on the different type of plate boundaries. Bear in mind that the plates are in constant motion. As they interact along their margins, important geological processes take place, such as the formation of mountain belts, earthquakes, and volcanoes. The process of subduction may undergo during the collision of two oceanic plates and the collision of oceanic and continental plates. To our dear learners, there are several activities in your self-learning material. Please perform them with patience and you will be fascinated with what you will observe and learn. 
So our beloved parents, help us guiding your children. It can make a difference on how well your child can accomplish the learning task. Kindly provide assistance. Thank you. If you have questions, just message your science teacher. I am sure they could help you. I believe you can do it, learners. God bless in answering your learning module. Once again, this is your radio teacher, Teacher Luz Pontillas of Bamban National High School. Goodbye everyone and have a good day.